The driver of the Chicago subway train that crashed and barreled over the platform at O'Hare Airport on Monday admits she dozed off. The driver fell asleep. But two backup systems should have stopped that train. That's what the NTSB said. The NTSB says an alarm set off two emergency brakes, but it's not clear why they did not stop this train in time. The Chicago Tribune reports that according to Chicago Transit Authority, the driver may have fallen asleep shortly before her train smashed through a bumping post at the end of the track just before 3 a.m. The driver admits this wasn't the first time she used the dashboard for a pillow. But some might think drifting off is hard to avoid in a profession as routine as this one, especially at 3 in the morning. What about the emergency brake system? An investigator for the National Transportation Safety Board said a preliminary review showed the train was traveling at the correct speed of 25 miles per hour as it entered the station, though it's unknown if the operator ever applied the in-cab brake. The same official told CNN if a driver falls asleep and the controls slip out of her hands, the train should stop automatically. He also said the train has three different brake systems. There's an electrical brake, a disc brake system, and a third track brake. But none of the three worked. To be safe, the CTA plans to lower speeds entering O'Hare Station from 25 to 15 miles per hour, and the trip switches signaling the emergency automatic brakes will be moving farther back to engage earlier. Now that the dust has literally settled and with luckily no deaths reported, the CTA will shift its focus to clearing the wreckage and addressing the lawsuits filed by two women who sustained injuries during the accident. For Newsy, I'm Jay Struberg.